Is everybody in? Yeah. 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 Okay, I think we're ready, Joe. Go ahead, George. Thank you. Okay, uh, first of all, I want to welcome, uh, there's a pretty large family here, uh, Shaheem Joya's family. I want to welcome everybody here. And some friends, I guess. There's also some friends and some other representatives here. Um, just to let you know, uh, right now we're at Queen's Park. This is the media room, and there's cameras uh, that are looking at us right now. And these are live feeds that, that are going through a lot of major media stations uh, throughout Canada, uh, I believe. And uh, today is a, a very, very special day. Uh, Mr. Uh, Shaheem Joya, who's beside me, uh, just completed a walk from Ottawa to Toronto uh, to encourage more people to become uh, organ donors, but it didn't start out that way at the beginning. Um, I also have some other uh, distinguished guests uh, beside Mr. Joya, which I'm hoping you can introduce yourselves afterwards, yes. if you can introduce okay. yourself. Adina Niazi with the Afghan Women Organization. Okay, and sir? Uh, Nur Mohamed Niazi, Consul from Consul General of Afghanistan. Okay, perfect. <coughs> um, so, we're, we're here uh, to not only honor uh, Shaheem for the incredible feat that he just accomplished, uh, but we're also here together to take some pride in, in, in uh, living in Canada, I guess, is part of this whole thing. And, and, you know, what we can do now as Canadians and some things that we can do to help others uh, that, that aren't as fortunate as, as us right now. Uh, we, we should count our blessings every day that we have our, our health and that we're not in any distress uh, uh, with our health. And I just want to start at the beginning because I have another gentleman that's going to replace me afterwards, and, and then you can introduce yourself afterwards. Uh, uh, but here's how this whole thing started. About a month ago, I had received an email uh, from uh, Mr. Shaheem Joya, and in his email, uh, he was asking me if I can help him in any way, shape, or form because he was about to do a walk from Ottawa to Toronto. And originally, he wanted to do this walk, as he mentions, to see the rest of his house, uh, not just one room. Uh, he wanted to see the other rooms and, and discover our, our uh, well, uh, Southern Ontario is a very beautiful part of Canada, as you Definitely. can say afterwards. Uh, so that's how it began, uh, that he wanted some help, and I guess he must have Googled me or something yeah, to find, yeah. uh, and, and because I've done similar uh, treks before, and, and so I was uh, very willing to, to help uh, Shaheem do this, because I know anybody that takes on something like that is um, either very courageous or a little crazy. <laughs> uh, so it's probably a combination of both. And that's, that's my family. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I was more than happy to help him. Uh, but I, I, I'll let you know what happened at the same time that uh, Shaheem uh, sent me the email. I had received another email um, from another young uh, Pakistan woman who was uh, explaining the sad tale of her father who, who desperately needed a liver transplant and who probably didn't have much time left to live unless a liver became available uh, to save this young father's life. Or he's actually young because he's only 52 years old. Uh, and I received both the emails at the same time. And, and at the beginning, I thought this was a good omen uh, for me to ask Shaheem that yes, I would help him 
But I also asked him, how would you like, you know, uh, to your gratitude walk to turn it into a, 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 an organ donation awareness walk and, and possibly help save this father's life? And uh, he agreed uh, without hesitation. He didn't even ask any questions. He just said, yes, of course. Uh, uh, you know, I think, it, uh, and I can't speak for him, but as soon as he heard that a life could have been saved, he agreed right away. And, and, and so what we were trying to do was to uh, see if the family uh, of this father, if, if, you know, if they wouldn't mind going public, because if they went public, there would be a better chance to save his life because a live liver donor uh, with type O blood will save his life if somebody donated a piece of their liver. This has happened uh, over 300 times already in Canada where, where people have stepped. Uh, but when it doesn't match in the family, because usually it's family members that, that make this donation and they tried everybody in the family but there was no matches, you have to go outside the family. And the way to go outside the family is sometimes you have to go public and I know that it was very difficult for the family to say yes to go public, as, as it was with my family. Uh, they came from Italy in the 50s, and they were, you know, they had an old tradition of, of not to go public and to, you know, so I knew how difficult that was to do, and I explained that to uh, Shaheem, uh, but he had a chance to talk to the young uh, woman as well. Uh, so at this point in time, our prayers right now are, are with the dad, and we're hoping what we're doing here today and what Shaheem has been doing all along can encourage more people to be organ donors. And, and hopefully if we can get enough people to do that, uh, people like this 52-year-old this father doesn't have to die, you know, and, and we, can, we can now save people, but we somehow have to get over the barrier of, of saying it's okay to donate your organs. And we need more voices because we don't have enough voices right now. And uh, what Shaheem did was he became a voice for, for this, even though he didn't want to at the beginning. I mean, he didn't have any idea at the beginning that this was, was going to happen, but it's it happened this way. So through his efforts uh, and his desire to just say thank you to Canada, possibly as a result, many lives could be saved uh, as a result. And I know there's going to be more work that we have to do uh, to, to do this because right now as we speak, there's over 4,000 Canadians that are presently waiting for life-saving uh, organ transplants. And all of them could be saved if we had enough people making this donation. So we need more, more work in, in all the different uh, religions and all the different cultures and all the, we need more work in all these areas. Uh, so if we, uh, if this became a walk of hope and a walk of prayer and a walk for, for those people and it can continue afterwards, we can continue to help those people. The torch that, uh, Shaheem carried, uh, was, was carried by millions of other people before him. It's been carried for the last 10 years by young people. Uh, there's been many people that have blessed this torch, and one of them was Pope John Paul II almost 10 years ago. And it was uh, the Pope that said to pass the torch to the youth. It's going to be the youth, the young people, that will inspire everybody. And I believe that's what Shaheem did. Uh, and, you know, there's still a lot more journey uh, for the torch and, and for Shaheem and, and for everybody else. But we're hoping and we're praying that nobody needs to die while they're waiting for an organ transplant. So um, I will now take a seat. And if this gentleman would like to come here and, and, and um, introduce yourself. And and then you can continue and and then you and